Glamnetic is blowing up. Like straight off the bat, he said you guys have gone from zero to $50 million in annual revenue in one year. Is that correct? It was one, one to 50, but, but, but close enough. And Armand, he's a, <laughs> yeah. he's a great guy, man. He's a really, really, really smart guy as well. Um, but it was, you know, it, it, it was definitely hyper growth. I think, um, you know, Ann can kind of touch on the beginnings of the story, but we, you know, the brand launched in 2019 and we did, you know, a million, the back half of that year. And then last year um, in 2020, uh, it, it, it went to 50. And so it was, you know, there's a lot of things that have to come into place from we were layering infrastructure and teams and hiring and a lot of things um, that last year. But yeah, it was, it was, fortunately it was, it was like hyper growth. It's crazy because, it, you know, we, I, I sort of had, I never launched a brand before. I've never been an entrepreneur. Uh, so like starting a brand was like my first kind of, you know, step into it. And my goal initially was literally to do like 10K a month. <laughs> that was all I was like I was like that was that was like the benchmark I guess and when I was like oh 10k a month that sounds like a lot that's great and then it, you know first month out of the gate we we're doing like 20k a month and then it was just like doubling every month um because of just kind of all the resources and e efforts we put in and starting that sort of like marketing machine turning that on um and then uh I was sort of like the face of the brand I did like all the content creative marketing um and like all the retention stuff like that marketing aspect um and it, it sort of just kind of got its own legs and became viral i think the product too was like a genius product um and it lends itself well to um, really solving a main issue uh in the beauty industry which is like lashes are one of the hardest things to apply in the makeup um in terms of your makeup routine and so we're fixing that problem where like majority of girls don't know how to put on lashes and we're solving that problem, making it so much easier, like a less than five minute application. Um, so it just, you know, blew up because it, it just worked really well. And we just made sure like product quality was good. Um, so yeah, it was, it was all of the above. And I think like, obviously with COVID last year was very interesting with, um, particularly with lashes, right? Like when women were wearing masks, well then all of a sudden the eye up became extremely important, which was really an interesting, you know, interesting, uh, sort of shift in the market. But I think like the other thing that allowed us to scale was, you, you know, I think to scale a brand to that level today, you have to be really strong at like content, creative, social, influencer, acquisition and retention and the con that entire marketing flywheel. And if like one or two things are off, you stall out on the, on the growth. And so I think like between myself and Ann and then the rest of the team that we assembled, um, we were pretty good at a lot of those things, which then allowed us to, you know, to scale the brand. Yeah, wow, this like this is crazy because just just for context, we speak to a lot of successful founders, but yeah, that that kind of growth is is pretty uh, insane. Like that's pretty rare. So I'd love to delve a little deeper just around the early conversations. Like, can you talk to us? like around the product, around the manufacturing, like the early stages of that? Like w what did that look like? Yeah, so um, I had never, again, never developed a product before. I literally um, sort of fully committed to this idea because I, um, I, I had been obsessed with lashes my entire life when I was younger. Um, I actually immigrated here with my mom uh, from Thailand when I was seven years old and so I was the only Asian person at my school and um, always feeling like oh I didn't really quite fit in and so I once I got into makeup kind of in my adolescent years I realized like it really helped boost my confidence and one of the main things was lashes that kind of helped with that and so I was addicted to lashes I wore lashes every day in my life like I've tried every single type of lash um, and I never went outside without wearing lashes and um, I kind of saw this like huge wave of like magnetic lashes, um, this trend kind of happen around magnetic lashes. And then when I tried them, I was really excited about the concepts, but it didn't work the way that you think, it, the, it, or it didn't work as easily as it should have worked. Like you have to align all the magnets um, perfectly. And they were the type that sandwiched your natural lashes in between. Um, and, and I was just like, this needs to kind of be rethought. You know, there needs to be, um, of all the lash style itself is like really thin and plasticky and not flattering and i always love like lashes that are longer have more volume and so i was like what why can't like lashes have more volume like be more glam but also be magnetic and also easy to apply 
And so I went sort of down this like rabbit hole of like doing research online, like YouTube, Coursera. Like I literally used all the courses online to figure out like how to source product and develop products, how to get in touch with manufacturers. Um, and I got into in touch with a bunch of manufacturers, like had like 300 plus conversations, um, hundreds of samples later and sort of came up with like the prototype that we had that we launched with, which was literally, I was like, take like a full glam lash and like glue five magnets on it. And then the manufacturer was like, I've, we've never done that before. Like, I don't know if we can, we don't have the right glue. Like it was like all the right adhesive that you need to use for it. Like, um, it was very technical in that sense. And so it was just like a lot of like trial and error to kind of come up with like the final product. Um, so yeah, yeah it was I had 200 WhatsApp conversations going on. With <laughs> it was insane. I mean, I think it was, it, it, it was a lot of obviously outreach on her part, just to all the different, uh, manufacturers and, and coordinated with lots of samples back and forth to get this thing into existence. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.